Hello fellow drone nerds, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns and today I want to talk with you about the RTK attachment for the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. All right, let's dive in. All right, so first off, let's talk about the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. So this product is already a powerhouse of a enterprise product. It is the entry level of the DJI Enterprise uh, full line, but this thing with its portability is just an incredible product. So you have three different three different ones now, not just two. This is the, the one in front of us is the Mavic 3 Enterprise or M3. E, and then you have the M3T or thermal, and now you have the new M3M, the Mavic 3 Multispectral. Now, each of these products are all incredibly powerful and designed for specialized use cases, so each of them fit a use case very well. So why would you need to add something else to this already very powerful product? Let's dive into that. So the Mavic 3E, when this thing is flying and doing a mapping mission and flying off GPS, it's doing its very best to follow a direct straight line to get that mission done and keep a, like a close knit pattern to maybe fulfill an ortho mosaic or many other things when it comes to mapping and survey. Well, GPS is as close as accurate as it can, but using the RTK attachment to this product, you're adding real-time kinematics. So with this, instead of just a almost straight line, it is in real time adjusting it per during flight to make sure it follows exactly down to a centimeter grade. So you're getting that real survey grade measurement from this product. So that definitely makes sense for the Mavic 3E why the RTK attachment is really prevalent for this little mapping beast that it is. What about the Mavic 3T uh, or the Mavic 3M? The Mavic 3 Thermal would utilize the RTK module using that thermal camera. So not just using it just to look at something and be able to, to take a measurement, you're then able to open a whole new door of survey grade accuracy of a thermal camera. So thermal orthomosaics, uh, thermal point cloud imaging, all sorts of different things with the M3T. Now using the RTK attachment for the Mavic 3 multi-spectral, uh, yet this is amazing and it utilizes this ability to, to follow those crop lines or anything in an actual area for agriculture and being able to get down to centimeter grade, it utilizes lots of technology that the DJI team has built for agriculture. So using that M3M with the RTK, finding exactly Exactly that pinpointed spot that is a hot spot, maybe in, in a poor crop health, that then you need to send an agress out to spray that area. Utilizing that RTK centimeter grade survey measurement is a no brainer. So again, as you can see, there is a use case for each of the Mavic 3 Enterprise products and it matches up with a certain industry and different stuff like that. And again, that's why we're here, the experts in the drone industry, and we can guide you through finding exactly which one's gonna match your organization's unique needs. Now, just to dive a little bit deeper on the pro level of this attachment right here, I brought out a Mavic 3 Cine. This is my Mavic 3 Cine, and it is a prosumer product. This is an enterprise product. And why would you wanna upgrade to this product to be able to have different attachments other than just having the normal Mavic 3? Well, one, this product is just a prosumer product. So though it might have a very similar looking payload to the M3e, it actually has a big difference when it comes to mapping. The M3 has a non-mechanical shutter and the M3E has a mechanical shutter. The mechanical shutter is much better for mapping with the ability to open and close and be able to completely fill that sensor with a new source of data for each measurement when you're doing like an orthomosaic or all sorts of different things with this. Now, another obvious point, there's no attachment point on top of these for RTK modules or the loudspeaker or maybe more to come. So again, the Mavic 3 Enterprise is the way to go when you're looking for an enterprise 
product. So let's go over how to actually attach the attachment to the bird. So when you're looking at the M3E, you have two different screw points right there and there, and then right in the middle, you have the actual, when you open this up, you have the actual point that actually connects to the product. So with this, let's set it right here. When you put this guy on, DJI symbol face forward. Uh, you, something genius that they did right here is this little uh, like grommet cover kind of piece to it. When it's closed, this does make this have an IP rating on top, but when it's open and over to the side, you know, normal products, this would just, you know, just take it off and lose it, which is uh, easy to do, especially in a professional sense when you've got so much going on. Well, DJI has this little space right there, which I just like how it's done. Uh, you just kind of set this right on top, find that connection point, and then just put a little bit of pressure almost to where it clicks. Once it's in, you take the two screw points. I like to, you know, as you can see, I can use my hands. I have a kind of a like dial to them so you can like turn them. Um, also in there, you can see a, a like a hex key uh, place. So you could use an Allen key on there. But honestly, ratcheting it in like that, I don't believe going that tight. Want to go thumb tightness on there, but you definitely want to get tight enough that this is not going to come off in normal flight mechanics and in flight movements. So right before flight, double check to make sure these are nice and screwed in and it's all tight. And now the bird's ready to fly. So now here is the M3E all folded up with the attachment still on top. Now, if you're using this for a lot of mapping with the M3E as this is the mapping beast, I honestly wouldn't be taking this off. I would just leave this on here. And as you can see, it's all folded up and, and ready to go for storage. And I wanna show you this cool thing that I think DJI really did a great job with. Now, normally uh, you would need to take some of these products off, like the attachments and such. But with this, you can actually just take it right in and set it right in there with the attachment still on, it has this little piece that kind of protects it in that sense, and you can close it. And so the attachment can just stay on the case and take it with you. So honestly, wouldn't even take that off. Well, folks, that was great. We got to talk about the new attachment for the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, the RTK attachment. Now this really powerful little attachment for this already super capable drone has a lot of incredible use cases. Now with this, it does, this attachment does fit all of the different drones in the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. So you have the M3E, the M3T, and the M3M. Now, which one of these better fits your organization's needs? Well, reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com and let us guide you through and find the right decision for your organization's needs. Otherwise, hey, thanks again for joining us today. Be safe and happy flying. Take care.